Brethren, and welcome to today's episode, the 22nd of August, titled Your God's Property. But what does that really mean? Well, we'll dive deep into today's topic in this episode. Let's begin with 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 to 20, where the Bible says, What? Know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. The Bible says you were bought with a price, that means your God's treasure, His property. How amazing is this? In 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 18 to 19, the Bible says, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold, from your vain conversations received by traditions from your fathers, though with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Your value is in the precious blood of the Lord Jesus, because that's the price God paid for your salvation. Always remember that your spirit, soul and body belong to God. That means no trespass for Satan and his cohorts of darkness. Satan has no business in your life and in the quarters of your body because you legally belong to Christ. Now that you are born again, you are far above Satan's domain or jurisdiction. In Colossians chapter 1 verses 12 to 14, reading from the CJB, the Bible says, Giving thanks to the Father who having made you fit to share in the inheritance of his people in the light, he has rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear Son. It is through his Son that we have redemption. That is, our sins have been forgiven. Praise the Lord. Moreover, because you're God's property, He fashioned your life for glory and excellence. I praise the Lord. You can read in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 in the Amplified Classic Version where it says, For we are God's own handiwork, His workmanship, recreated in Christ Jesus, born anew, that we may do those good works which God predestinated, planned beforehand for us, taking part which he had prepared ahead of time, that we should walk in them, living the good life which is pre-arranged and made ready for us to live. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! So, Satan has no claim over your life. You are untouchable because you are protected by the great and mighty God. In Colossians chapter 3, verses 3 to 4, it says, Christ is your life and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Now you can understand why he says in Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Nothing shall by any means hurt you. And in Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17, the Bible says, No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. Praise the Lord! Have this consciousness and live in absolute dominion over the adversary and all adversities every day. Praise the Lord. Now let's take this prayer together. As usual, you can repeat after me. Say, Dear Father, thank you for the honor and blessing of being your purchased peculiar treasure. I am grateful for the assurance that my spirit, soul and body belong to you and that Satan has no claim over my life. I am protected and fashioned for glory and excellence and I walk in the paths you prepared for me, living the good life you prearranged and made ready for me to live. Thank you for the dominion and victory I have in Christ. 
In Jesus' name, Amen. Praise the Lord. Now don't forget to conduct your further studies today. You can meditate or look into the following scriptures. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 18-19 to 19 in the Amplified Classic Version. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19-20 to 20 in the NIV. As well as Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 in the Amplified Classic Version as well. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Always build your spirit up with the Word of God and have the consciousness that you are indeed undefeatable. Share this message with someone today and let them know that they can live a powerful, undefeatable life. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you lord for saving my soul i have eternal life now i'm a child of god now i am born again thank you lord if you just said that prayer along with pastor chris congratulations welcome to the family of god Rhapsody of realities Give me your life for meaning Every day My life made perfect With Rhapsody